And we've got a lot of great things happening around our automated technology. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on in Las Vegas and then also in Singapore? Sure. We are developing end-to-end -end technology to enable us to put a fleet of cars on the road that can pick people up in cities around the world, take them from point A to point B without them ever having to interfere with the car, to engage with the car. We as Aptiv have a fleet of 100 plus autonomous cars on the road today. We're driving every day in Pittsburgh, in Boston, in Singapore, and in Las Vegas. So we get experience of driving in a wide range of conditions around the world, different weather conditions, driving on the right side of the road, the left side of the road, and so that's all very valuable uh, learnings that we accrue on a daily basis. So the impact for us is Aptiv. We are learning how to deliver a true autonomous mobility service. And it's not just about the technology. Technology is a big part of it, but there's the operational dimension. There's that question of how do you keep this fleet of cars on the road, up and running at a high degree of utilization. So Carl, you mentioned that we're driving on both sides of the road. Yeah. And I know here in the United States, we drive on the right-hand side of the road, but in Singapore, it's the left-hand side of the road. Yeah, one of the very valuable learnings that we get by deploying in different cities, in different countries around the world is that, look, driving in every country is different. There are different rules of the road. Sometimes it's very dramatic. You're driving on the other side, as you pointed out. Sometimes it's a little bit more subtle. Rules about right turns on red, for example. But the reality is those cars that are driving in different cities have to have different uh, kind of brains behind them. They have to have different rules governing their behavior. So the question for us as Aptiv is, how do we develop technology that we can rapidly scale and adapt to new cities around the world? Because our goal is not to deploy in a few cities. Our, deploy is to, our goal is to deploy in many cities worldwide. Our approach to that adaptation is what we call structured AI. It's a way to bring both rules that we know so we can write down the rules of the road in different cities, but also our observations about how humans drive in practice. And that observation is driven by machine learning techniques. So we bring together our written down structured rules with what we've observed and codified using machine learning into this method that we call structured AI. And the result of that is that we're able to quickly adapt to new driving environments, get on the road in different cities, in different countries around the world very, very quickly. So Glenn, can you talk for just a moment about how we're leveraging the learnings that we get from these more advanced technologies and feed those back into our portfolio that we're offering today? Sure, if you think about automated driving level four, one of the first questions we get frequently is, well, when is it gonna be available, both commercially or available for privately owned vehicles? And there's still a lot of work to be done. We're looking at 21, 22, as kind of the years when you'll see commercial deployments coming out. So a lot of work to be done between now and then and when you really generate significant revenue or value from that. As a result, one of the things we always look at is how do I take those technologies and apply them to my current programs? And a good example of that is with the advanced safety area, level three automated driving. This is something that the, our OEM customers really want to have to be able to offer to their customers. And so we can take technologies from our level four systems and incorporate some of those elements into a level three uh, capable feature set that we can offer. That's a great example of how I can take what we're developing for the longer term, but apply it today. And that's a tremendous benefit as it allows us to bring more value to our customers and give them some differentiating features that they can offer. That's a key differentiator for Aptiv. As you guys are talking about, um, the work that we're doing to solve problems today or solve the problems that we know we're going to experience tomorrow, what I'm hearing is I'm hearing that it's a combination of our portfolio, it's a combination of our expertise, not just in individual applications, but of the system as a whole. Having that holistic vehicle understanding, the systems integration expertise, the AI machine learning and deep complex software algorithm capability, all of those things come together to solve problems people are experiencing today or even tomorrow.